Hello guys, welcome to my channel Love to Learn. In this video, I want to explain you Spring Boot with MongoDB CRUD operations. Okay, let's start. I already open Spring Initializer. Okay, I'm just selecting the project type as Maven and uh, the Java version is 8. Okay, as in my local, I have the Java version 8. Let's see in the package name. And that fit name also, guys. Springwood MongoDB. Okay. And let's add some couple of dependencies. Springwood Lombok to avoid getter setters. I mean to say like boilerplate code. And let's add Spring Data MongoDB. Okay. And let's generate our project, guys. Now my project is downloaded. Now I will try to just import it from my file system. Spring that spring boot mongodb dot chip. Let's try to click on finish. Uh, it will need some time, guys, for downloading all the dependencies. Meanwhile, what I will do means I'll just try to create a new DB name. Okay. I hope you guys know some basic uh, have basic idea on mongodb commands also if you don't know no problem guys i will show you how to create a mongodb database okay you have to give some use and our db name i want to give my db name as employee details okay and okay let's if you observe here our product is imported and now let's try to add some property in our application dot property file okay uh, let's it load up these properties are related to database connection okay pin dot data dot mongodb dot port equal to 27017 okay actually it is the default port number guys for every, any default uh, mongodb instance it is the default port number okay now let me try to give the database name database name okay equal to employee underscore details yep i think the let me recheck the name the yeah, employee underscore details and now what i want to do means once i implement the code i want to just check it using a swagger so let me add some swagger config quickly guys okay i'm not explaining the swagger config up to now okay as i'm just implementing mongodb that operations only let me try to add quickly the configuration in our project i don't want to waste your time so just i'm adding it very quickly yeah come on let me add it here and let me go to the main method and let me try to add this bean let me try to add this annotation here okay let me try to import these things docket bean documentation type request handler selector and this annotation also okay let me save it here now let's do one thing let's try to create the new packages quickly okay and let me create controller package and entity package and repository package okay let me try to create an entity first our entity name is employee Okay, and specifying at the red document here, and the use uh, how it can be useful means it, it will identify that, that it is a domain, a domain object that to be uh, saved to the MongoDB guys. Okay, now if you observe here, we not created any collection, right? Uh, if you specify like this, it will create a collection also. I'm using at the red data. Okay, what it will do means it will try to generate uh, 
set of getters require arguments constructed uh, twisting an equals and hash code methods. Just for avoiding the boilerplate code, I'm using it. Let me create a variable name id and uh, let me create some other variable name, name cd. Okay. We are done with this and let's try to create an interface here. Employee repo. Which extends, sorry guys. Which extends Mongo repo guys. Mongo repo. Here I want to give our employee entity name. Let me try to import it. And here I want to give the type of ID, which is thing. Okay, we are done with that. Let me try to create an employee controller. Employee controller. And now what I want to do means I want to just annotate it with other rest controller. Now let's try to add over our employee repo. Yep, and employee repo. And let's try to add a wire it. And guys, let's try to create the methods here for saving, updating, and using the post mapping because I want to create some save method here. Public employee save employee at the rate request body for passing the employee. Let's try to create employee reference here. And let's try to return employee repo. Like uh, let's try to return the employee instance after saving it here. Okay. Okay. And let's try to create some find method. Okay. As I said, we, uh, find it means we are getting data, right? So let's try to use get mapping. Public. Yeah, let's do some mapping. Save and find. Okay, find data. Let's try to give the list. Okay, list of employee. Get data. Our method name is get data. Right? Return employee re employee record dot find that which will return all the list. Now. What we can do means we can save and update using this method only, guys. You can save and update the employee reference, employee object using this method only, okay? And here we can find the data using this find all method. It means now we completed three methods: find, save, update. Now I want to delete, right? So let's uh, try to create some method, delete method, public. Up to now, let's keep it as delete. Delete by ID. Okay. Return employee repo dot delete by ID. Okay. Let's give ID here. So I want to create parameter as ID. Okay. As I am saying only ID here, let me try to create a path variable here. Okay. So let's keep id here and here let's add a direct path variable annotation okay that's it so what we can do means uh, we can just do one thing here uh, let's try to delete this okay Now let's try to run our application. So let's try to use now our swagger got loaded guys. Now let's try to give some data here. Okay, our CD is Hyderabad. And the ID will be generated automatically in MongoDB. Okay. So I'm not giving any ID here. Let's give this name as Anil. Let's click on try it out. It's saying it is some bad request. Let's check what is the error. Okay. Let's check what is the issue here. 
Okay. I deleted comma from here. Okay. And let's try to click on write out once again. Yep. Now if you observe the ID got created. Initially we not created any uh, collection in our DB employee details, right? Now let's try to refresh our DB. You check we have some collection name employee and we have a document. Okay. Now what I want to do means I want to try to save some other data also. Let's do some name as search or something like that. Let's click on write out. We observe my data got saved. Okay. Now let's try to delete an employee. Okay. Let's try to get some ID from here. Delete by ID. Okay. Let's do our ID here and let's click on try it out. It's saying it's got deleted successfully. Now let's try to get all the data from here. Now if you observe we got only data like one record only. The reason is I have deleted one ID, right? Okay, let's try to refresh it here. Okay, I have deleted an uh, document using one ID. So I got only one document here. Now I want to update this document guys. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to delete it and uh, Let's add the ID here. Let's try to copy this thing and put it in the place of ID. And let's give the name as some banker or something like that. And city as Bangalore. Let's click on try it out and now if you check our db guys our data got updated i think so now you got some good idea about using spring boot with mongodb like using save operation update operation delete operation okay and find operation okay if you have any queries please comment it in comment section thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe to my channel